Right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform. Where they're giving a back-to-back -back update on how things they be, on how things they share for Biafra land and beyond. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also remember to like and share this broadcast as it is hot. All right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the boss brains at the moment right now. We say, yes, so you don't reach that extent. We uh, P M B R G I E Simon Edward Njoko, as you all know him, has uh, been doing the biggest things that we all know that he is he will be able to do. And he has been conquering a whole lot of things that uh, people thought uh, he would not be able to do. And that is the truth of the matter. He is a man that would always stick with whatever it is he has sworn to do. And at this particular point, he has uh, broken boundaries. He has uh, done things that people did not expect him to do. He has uh, even uh, made sure that uh, people <laughs> that thought that uh, he would not succeed. The example, uh, hey, you, I don't need to call his name. Uh, hey, you know as he did be, you know as he did hurt. Uh, as uh, these people thought that he would not make it in life, he has also um, showed them that anything they do, it is not uh, going to work out for them. It is not even going to end up well for them if they continue in that particular movement by AMB, BMB, GI is a man of uh, many words and a man of also many actions because, uh, because before he actually does anything, he actually tells them, my people, this is what I'm going to do to you people. This thing now we think will actually stop. And if you now not take time, now so you go end do now. Yes, and the the good thing say is in a joke as usual as normal. And at the end, it always ends up that uh, he, he does something that would normally and always put them off guard because that is the kind of person he is. The PMBRGI is not a man that should be taken lightly on any note because he's a man of uh, um, action. He, he, Whatever he says he will do is always what he ends up doing. We have seen how the um, the Biafra Liberation Army has uh, done a whole lot, has uh, conquered a whole lot too. And then uh, we cannot say that uh, these people did all these things without the help of the PMBRGIE. We can be rest assured. We can be 100 percent assured that this man PMBRGIE was a man or is a man that was that is currently I would say that he's currently involved in everything that concerns the movement and the succeeded in everything that he wanted to do that is one thing that when we think about or when i remember what the pm has been doing uh, and people come about to talk or see some other things i just uh, look at it and be like uh, i don't think yeah, these people have even understood how things are at this moment or they, they i don't think they have come to understand the real issue with how things would actually work out once the pm or anytime the pm says something and actually works with it that is the truth of the matter the main thing is this the whatever the pm has said he will do is something he actually ends up doing and we know how the ipop dos and the the so-called president of the zoo country <laughs> my people whatever he actually wakes up to always end up doing how it does not always work out. They have put so many stunts upon the PM, GIE. They have done so many things against him. They have decided to put him down so many times. And my people, I am here to let you know that none of these things have actually worked out. I, that is the truth of the matter. Most of it ended up not working out because, of course, the PM is not a man that can be trifled with or can be joked around with. He's a man that have decided that would say this is what he would do and he would actually do it. This is a man that has stuck with whatever he said says he would do and actually ended up doing it he's not a man that uh, should be joked around with because of course he is going to make sure that anything he says actually ends up working out that is the truth of the matter we will continue working forward nothing is going to stop our biafra self-referendum that is supposed to actually take place for the declaration of biafra in the december 2nd uh, yes i know that uh, if you've not been following up this should be something that you should have in mind that will surely take place See, the, 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 the fact that we are working towards, the fact that we have hopes towards the Biafra referendum, the fact that we have hope towards everything that comes with the Biafra uh, declaration is something every single person should have word of and should be ready for no matter 
matter what is happening around no matter what people come out and talk no matter what people say about it because of course we know we have a lot of enemies that are coming against us we know we have a lot of people that do not want the progress but that is why they are keeping the the the, the leader of the indigenous people of biafra amazi Ohamadike Indibo, Nam, they can't know they are keeping him there, but they cannot keep him for too long. He's a man that would surely escape. He's a man that would surely succeed and come out alive. Yes, my people, at this point, we'll let you listen to the broadcast of the PMBLGIE. Thank you. First, I want to see more people here. Even though this is uh, assistance right now, I can easily tell you that this platform is a new platform as it stands right now because this platform we have not make, made use of this platform since february since february this year we have not made use of this platform so it is actually it is equally a new a brand new platform so i um we have to continue immediately we are still on uh, on the testing aspect of fit because we worked on it and we are testing it to see the performance to see if we are going to continue with it or we will continue with our newly created uh, platform which is doing well at the same time so let me bring uh, this to your screen so that we read it and of course go straight into the analysis all right <coughs> You can see this is the official and, of course, verified ex-handle of the Prime Minister, Mazi Simon Ekpa, and this is what he has said this very evening. He said, Breaking. The Organization of Emerging African States, OEAS, in resolution passed on 24th June, 24th June, which was yesterday, 2024, has endorsed the Biafra self-referendum under the Biafra Republic government in exile, BRGIE. The resolution will be made public after press briefing. The resolution of the Biafra self-referendum shall be considered binding under international law as a definite statement of the intentions and aspirations of the Biafran people. Hmm. Let me read that again. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. If you haven't shared the broadcast, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you haven't liked it, I don't know. I wonder if you are with us. But I believe that anybody who is with us at this very point in time should be hitting the like and share button in order to make this very, you know, gospel to go viral. Now, let me take this again because it's very, very, uh, uh, very, very, uh, you know, important. Now, the result of the Biafra self-referendum shall be considered, shall be considered binding under international law as a definite statement of the intentions and aspirations of the Biafra people. Now, that this very self-referendum this Biafran self-referendum shall be considered, shall be considered binding under international law. Shall be binding under international law as a definite statement, a definite statement, a definite statement, a definite statement. Wow. Of course, we all know the meaning of definite, definition, the definitive or whatever, as a definite statement. So, when you have that kind of strong word in between, it has actually explained it all. As a definitive statement, sorry, I've been making a mistake. As a definitive statement, definitive statement of the intentions i love that word that is in between definitive <laughs> so no argument it is sure so of the intentions and aspirations of the biafran people 
intentions what we what is our intention and our aspirations our our intentions and aspirations is just to be free as a free people very simple we we all have one collective aspiration and intention which is freedom only one over 70 to 80 million Biafran people worldwide have one intention and aspiration, as you can see during this ongoing self-referendum, whereby over 40 million Biafrans have voted already. And it's still counting. And this is just the second phase of the, of the referendum. We have not gotten to the third phase. And you know, the third phase and, first, and the first phase are always very very critical i'm going to explain it the first phase is when is a particular thing is being announced when something is is announced it is new i want you to follow just be, give me your attention please very very important when something is announced then it is new it is very very new and tantalizing everybody want to get his or her own share because this is a new idea and it is very very calling it is very very tantalizing so i want to have my own share the first phase is always like that now whether it has second phase third phase fourth phase fifth phase or whatever any amount the last phase I'm be the coco. The last phase is always the 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 the, the, the um how can I the sherry the sherry the last phase is always is always a rush because you don't want to miss out. That is the the target. Your target to rush to vote is that a hey, time is is you know is uh, is running out and you don't want to miss out time is running out and you don't want to miss out so second phase as we have only three phases first uh, second and third this second phase in everything not only uh, uh, in the referendum in everything you do in life if it's divided into three stages second stage is always slow because the people who voted in the beginning who have their own time during the second stage to do uh, their own things and other people who have not voted who are still busy in one thing or the other will be waiting say okay we, say, we still have time i'm going to do my own i'm going to vote we still have time yeah i think it's, it's ending uh, this the third phase they said the third phase is beginning from uh, in august they are starting the third the third stage in august so uh, this is june of course i still have my time you'll be waiting for that You'll be waiting for the third phase because you are still busy doing something but once the third phase enter boom <laughs> everybody in a hurry in a rush so we are expecting even higher amount of people even higher number of people to come out and vote during the third phase of the self-referendum so for the fact that you have between first and second stages over 40 people have already voted now imagine what will happen before the end of the second phase and the beginning to the end of the third stage imagine what will happen so now and as we all can see over these 40 million Biafrans that have voted already the intention and aspirations of these 40 plus million people that have voted already is only but one thing which is freedom of Biafra <laughs> so now that is what this statement is talking about so then hereby resolved this 24th day of June 2024 OEAS they said, they said, there will be emergency state of the union press briefing 
with the Biaoji IE international lawyer, Dr. Levy, and the Biafra prime minister. Of course, Mazi Samanepa Njoku Otrizu Mangu Wan. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is, this is huge. This is really huge. This is very, very huge. Now, who are these, um, who are these, um, let us see who are these, who are these, who are these OEAS, who are these OEAS? Let us see who are these o, uh, OEAS, Organization for um, Organization of Imagine African States, uh, OEAS. So who are these OEAS? Let us see who they are. First of all, this is their, um, their logo, the organization of Imagine African States, OEAS. Okay. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Let us keep searching. Who are these OEAS? I think we have to go to their website and check who they really are. Uh, let's go to their website and check who they are, O-E-A-S. If you have any idea of the O-E-A-S, please let us know in the comment section, or of course, let me even, uh, let me drop the number, let me drop the number on your screen so that those of you who would want to call in and make your contribution will be able to call and make your you know contribution very very important if you want to say anything as i'm as i'm as i keep as i'm going as i'm uh making my research you have every opportunity to call the number is right there on your screen for you to call directly on whatsapp so you can of course make your contribution and tell us more now this is the website of the organization of emerging african states Organization of Imagine African States, they said about us. I'm not going to read a lot. I just want us to see what they are up to, what they can do, and what is this organization all about. You can see this is about us. The OEAS is an NGO, NGO dedicated through freedom in Africa. NGO dedicated to freedom in Africa. Our principles are encompassed, encompassed in the Washington Declaration of 2010. Our principles are encom encompassed in the Washington Declaration of 2010. This amazing document provides a roadmap for a free and prosperous Africa united in freedom the oeas is a registered non-profit corporation based in washington dc with a general assembly of states planned for juba south sudan then they say prospective member states and organization organizations seeking consultative seeking consultative status may contact us at our contact email address now this is uh, about about OEAS, the uh, organization for of Imagine African States. Now, what these organization? Of course, they are domiciled in Washington D.C. So, what they do? What they do is to help and push the narrative, the desires, the aspirations of every people in africa that want to be free from the colonial enslavement that is what this organization is all about as you can see here they also made mention of uh, uh juba south sudan 
So that is what they do. And of course, when they come out and recognize what you are doing, it is not going to end in you know uh, in it's not going to end on top of their own table. They are not just there to recognize you. I still believe that there are still other things that they can offer. There are still other things they can do in terms of push, pushing your narrative to the world. As the Prime Minister of the BRGIE always say, and I quote, that our fight for freedom is multidimensional. Is multidimensional. As we fight on ground, we also fight diplomatically. Very, very important. Very, very important. Now, as if this is not enough, I have already made a record of these very, um, you, you know, of these very news that I'm bringing right now to your screen. I have already recorded it uh, during my pre-recorded broadcast this very evening, whereby uh, LA, LA Weekly, LA Weekly is currently reporting the Biafran matters at the moment in the United States of America. Biafrans, a people in diaspora longing for a home to call their own. Longing for a home to call their own. For hundreds and even thousands of years, Africa has borne witness to huge, huge moments in human history. Current scientific evidence points to Africa as the cradle of humankind and why there is a debate on where exactly in Africa humans first emerged. The continent still plays a central role in the origin of the human race. Africa is also a land of turmoil, a land of turmoil. With the West and East African slave trade unleashing huge devastation on the continent people, various colonial empires partitioned Africa among themselves. They partitioned Africa among themselves, started with their meeting uh, in, in um, in is it was it berlin berlin yes germany in 18 something they partitioned africa at our own absence without our consent they divided our lands they invaded us with guns and bullets in order to join us together that is the chaos you have today in africa now they say why the remaining local kingdoms waged war against each other Ethnic and religious conflict persist even in the post-colonial era. Now, let me bring you to this place. Let me bring you to this place. Yes. Look at here. They said, More than 50 years since the end of the Nigerian Civil War, the continuing ethno-religious tensions and underdevelopment in the region, in the region of Biafra, have resulted in a Biafran diaspora with millions of Biafrans leaving Nigeria for a better life overseas. In the United States alone, only in America, there are 4 million Biafrans, 4 million Biafrans. Do you know that there are some countries today, there are some nations, Nation, I mean nations today that are not even up to 4 million people. Are you aware that there are some countries today that are not up to 4 million people? Even in Europe, in Europe, there are some countries that are not up to 4 million people in Europe. But we are talking about Biafrans, only the ones in America not all the american continent not all the north american continent we are talking about those in the usa united states of america alone the ones in canada are not counted 
uh, the ones in other North American countries are not counted. Now, when you go to South America, South American continent, we are in millions over there. We are in millions. Now, if you bring Biafrans in Europe as a whole, including those in, in, in Britain, we are more than 15 million in Europe. Now, if you go to other African countries, other African countries, all over African countries in, in Africa here, we have more than 20 to 30 million Biafrans outside in Africa alone. I'm telling you. Because only Biafrans in South Africa, I don't know if there are more than this 4 million. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious about this. I don't know. I don't know how many there are. Now, let's continue. They say there are 4 million Biafrans in the USA alone. Despite the country no longer Despite the country no longer existing for over fifty for over five decades, the dream for an independent state still remains. With a Biafra Republic government in exile, BRGIE declared in 2023, with Finland-based Simon Ekpa Njoku as its prime minister, along with 200 cabinet ministers and liaising offices in many different countries, especially those with significant Biafra populations especially those with significant Biafran populations. Back in Nigeria, Biafrans have been holding civil disobedience campaigns in protest. What are these civil disobedience campaigns we have been holding in Biafra land that the United States of America media outlet has recognized? that very civil disobedience, the number one of them all, if not the, the only one or the main one, is the sit at home that the enemies have been fighting so hard to stop. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Somebody say Luxembourg is six, uh, 600,000. Thank you. Let me bring it to the screen. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. There are some countries, even in Europe, that are not up to 4 million. And somebody is telling me that Luxembourg is 6,000 people. And I learned, I, I, I read one, uh, one, uh, one thing, I don't know if it's a documentary or what, I don't know. They said that Luxembourg, Luxembourg is the, the, the is it the richest country in, the, in Europe? Oh. I don't know. There's something there. Is it the richest country or what? Something like that. Can you correct me? Those of you that live in Europe, I I I, I saw something sometime in the past that said that Luxembourg is. Oh, so another person said Malta is four hundred thousand. You see, <laughs> and Afan Afan Now, this Luxembourg that has six hundred thousand. I heard that they are, I don't know if it's richest or what. There is something they, they control as the biggest in the world. Somebody say in the world, thank you. The richest country in the world. Not even America, not China, not uh, France, not Germany, not uh, United Kingdom, not Russia, not uh, France, not Dubai. <laughs> but Luxembourg, small Luxembourg, I don't know if they are up to my village. I'm not sure if they are up to my village. But they are the richest country in the world. I don't know if it's by, by GDP. Probably by GDP or something like that. I don't know. And they are 600,000 in population. And they have no oil. They have no oil. They have no gas, nor gold. Hmm? Now, in Biafra land, we have oil and we have gas. 
the gas in his zombie, many of you do not know the reason of the senseless buying of our people in his zombie over the years. The gas in his zombie, based on rating, is the largest gas deposit in entire West Africa. And since it is in West Africa, that means it is Africa as a whole. Because there is no any other country that has biggest gas in Africa than the zoo. If you join, if uh, 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 you you put you you know if you um, if you match them with the with Biafra and Niger Delta, the, the, the Niger Delta, where they call Niger Delta. So if you match them together, no country has the Sabu. biggest oil in, if not in the world. This is the world. Because I can Walking tell you, fan, when tell I me how many states in, in Russia, Russia, I told Russia you that he is the Ifan as the richest oil producing country in the world. Good. Tell me how many states. Let me I don't just, know what they call just do Russia. Is this state a referendum to know how many, uh, uh, how many province. people are here? Tell me how, how many states in Russia are not here. Do you remember oil when I exposed this country. criminal? How many are there? And I, I told how many states the whole world that he is the oil in Russia. Those of you that live in Russia, Russia, if you are here, and I showed right you a, a certain page, how many a secret page are that he's using oil to campaign for Russia. How many of you remember? Of course, just this if you want to know the good time, you ask the top 10 oil producing countries. Russia is Russia. America, America was told that the only He's place loading. they have oil Instant in America online. is in Texas. In Texas. Get it today. So even if it's big, I I I I notice that states are big. The American states are like countries. Four different hacks. But even if they're today, big, you get more followers on Instagram without state. posting. It is one state. So, but in the zoo. Do you know how many states producing oil in the zoo? Let me count them based on the you know the names given to them by the zoo. River State is there. Cross River is there. Aquaibom is there. Imo State is there. Abia State is there. Um, Bayesa is there. Delta State is there. Edo State is there. I don't even know on those states is also there. On those states, I think on those states is among the Niger Delta. On those states, state is there. Now, Anambra State has been recently added. Oil is found in Enugu State, which we share the 